Hey guys, it's Katie. Welcome to another video and in today's video I'm going to be doing another reaction video. So you guys would have seen my reactions to series duologies, trilogies I haven't read. I've done reactions to five books I haven't read and quite a few of those and I have done a reaction to a couple of my first ever book hauls and I did a reaction to my first ever TBR so I think it's time I do another TBR reaction video so this one is going to be from my second ever TBR video so the very very first one you would have seen my February wrap up and my March TBR so the March TBR is what you would have seen in the video so this video is called March wrap up and April TBR so we're only going to be watching the TBR video just like we did in the first video I used to like mash them up together because I was better at mashing them up back then, but now I'm just like, nope, I have to talk about them a lot more, which means I separate the videos, and plus I prefer separating the videos now, just to keep them more easy, and then they're in the folders of like the TBR folder, and then the wrap-up folder, so that people can find them more easily, that's kind of why I did it. Anyway, not waffling too much, I've got my video here on my phone to play, so I will be placing the video over here so that we will be watching this video together. I am just going to turn the sound off because that would just be annoying wouldn't it. So I'm going to push play in 3, 2, 1. The first two books that are on my April TBR pile I have started already a few days ago but I will obviously be finishing them in April and the first one is Easy by Tomorrow I Bar. Yes. I'm loving this book so much the I've read this, this one. book is like my guilty pleasure for this month about a guy he's quite mysterious he keeps appearing everywhere and there's obviously romance involved and I love this book I'm about halfway through so it won't take me long for me to finish this book but it's awesome the next book I've also started a few days ago and that is The Host by Stephanie Meyer. This one too. I've third through this in the moment. The first few chapters I wasn't quite connecting with, I felt a little bit lost but now it's started to kick in so I'm starting to enjoy this. I need to read this book before watching the movie so that is why it's on this month's TBR list and I'm excited for the movie so hopefully I enjoy this book a lot more. The next book is Under the Never Sky by Vaughan. I've read this one too. It seems like a science fiction sort of novel. And I've had a Winning so far. It, but I'm not completely entirely sure what it's about. But I do have the sequel to this book. So hopefully I do enjoy this book as I'm really into futuristic sort of novels at the moment. The next book is Destiny's Fire by Trisha Ball. But this one it seems like a steampunk novel that's based in the future. And it sounds awesome. Even the cover is awesome. Everything about it just seems awesome. So hopefully I do enjoy this. Hopefully it doesn't take me too long to read it. It seems quite thin. The next book is Tempest by Julie yes, Cross. Yes, I've read this one too. And I've had this book for a while now, but I do have the sequel to this one. And I'm so excited to read this. It sounds absolutely awesome. It says on the back here, Today, Jackson and Holly are in love. Tomorrow, she will lie bleeding in his arms. Yesterday, Jackson must undo it all. So... You know, it sounds really awesome and I'm so excited to read this book. The next book is Hidden by Marianne Curley. I've this, this is one obviously too. the uncorrected um, proof copy. The other copies obviously have the proper cover on it. But this sounds really amazing and it's got angels in it. And I love stories about angels. So I'm so excited to read this book to see if it really is super, super awesome. The next book I'm super excited to finally start reading and that is Cinder. Yeah, I've yeah, read this one I too. I so many good mm. things about this book as well. I was so good with my reading about them. And I'm just so excited to read it because it just sounds amazing. The final book that I've sloshed onto my April TBR list is The Fault in Our Stars by John Green. Yeah. I feel like I'm one of the only people that haven't read this book. Well, I've moment. read it now and, and that's really one of my favourite books. Really does put my heartstrings and make me cry. I've never cried at a book before. Yes, I've cried at TV shows and movies, sure, but I never has a book actually made me cry, so I'm intrigued to see if this really actually does, because I've heard stories of people actually literally crying for half an hour. I cried. Or 
I'm like, really? I, I, <laughs> now I'm intrigued. So that is why this book is on this month's list. I know I've kind of pushed myself to reading a lot of books this month, but I thought to myself, well, surely if I've read nine books for March, then I can do pretty much the same of April. Plus, this second half of April, I won't be as busy because I don't have a show. So I will have more evenings to read. Those are the books that I'll be reading in April. And wow, guys, I read nine books. Now, the year was 2013, so I read nine books, and then I've read all of those books. That is mental how much I used to read. That is mental. Now I even struggle to read one book a week, and it's my target to read a book a week. But then I have to take into account that I have a different job now. I have a boyfriend who I travel to see, and then also I work more like back then I didn't work like 40 hours so this is like the most I've ever worked which is 40 hours I used to work like 30 hours or less sort of thing and I used to have time to do the shows that I did and sort of thing because hence me talking about the show so I was obviously doing the RMDS then so yeah I just it's meant all the reading that I did I don't know I feel like I used to have more time back then to do the things that I wanted to do like I had more motivation to read I used to be like yeah I'm gonna sit down and read this evening I used to read ebooks like so quickly like that and just play video games still and now I struggle to find time because eight hours of my day are taken up by working what do I do with the rest of my time I read but then I get tired but then I've got a prolonged condition which is under investigation as to why I'm feeling lethargic because I have my health has declined definitely in the past year I've gained weight I got a new implant last year and I haven't had any periods since then so whether it's related to that who knows? Anyway, that's a totally different story. This is just, you know, but I just wanted to kind of explain like maybe the possibilities of why my energy has deteriorated since like five, six years ago. Six years ago now. Wow, that's mental. Six years ago. That was six years ago me. <laughs> I mean, what, what was I like six years ago? 23? Oh my God. I'm 29 now so and obviously I look different I sound different wow it's amazing what six years can do to you so yeah by the way guys I'll just quickly show you I've got a chair here my little beanbag chair um, I changed my setup for here so that I can sit here next to my bookcase and read I was thinking of like doing videos with it but I want you guys to still see the bookcase and that the lighting pretty much is there behind you so the daylight is best from this angle that's why this angle if it's here I've got like a shadow on my face so I always try to film in the daylight with natural lighting because natural lighting looks so much better than using a softbox obviously if by emergency I'll use the softbox but you know so yes yeah, so I just wanted to share with you very very quickly also my new seating my, my reading area and my the reason for this angle sort of thing my goodness guys it makes me want to read I'm gonna end this video and get some reading done because back then I read nine books <laughs> so back then I had TBR of nine but I still got a massive TBR hence the books here but back then guys when you think about it six years ago I would have I would have read all of that that's how mental is. I need to step up. <laughs> I really need to step up. Well, as best as I can anyway. So I'm gonna head off now and get some reading done because it's really, really pushing me on to read, but a very, very positive result. Yeah, I hope you guys have enjoyed watching the reaction to this TBR video. And let me know your comments and your thoughts down below. I think what I might do, I might actually, I might react to my next one as well because I'm on a roll 
and I want to find them I really want to find a month where I just don't read one book or I haven't read one book in like six years or five years or whatever so I'm gonna, I'm gonna film another one I think because I'm on a roll of filming so I'll film another reaction I'll film another TBR reaction I think I'll film another book reaction and then I'll go and get some reading done I'm all yeah I'm really 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 happy about this video so thank you very much for watching guys if you've enjoyed it do give it a thumbs up let me know any comments down below encourage me to get some reading going on let me know what books you're currently reading and what books you think that I should be reading and that sort of thing comments down below let's start a conversation I love reading your comments so so much it really really honestly makes my day especially because I suffer with really really bad anxiety and when I've had a really really bad day I love I mean, I've had it before, I've had a really, really bad day at work and the comments come up, like notification on my phone saying like, oh, Katie, so glad to watch your video again, something along those lines and it's honestly made me feel so much better. Like really, something so simple just to make me feel so much better. So yeah, any comments, leave them down below. Any social media links of mine will be linked down below in the description where you can find me elsewhere frequently on Twitter, pretty much there every day, Goodreads as well, and that sort of thing. Let's connect. But that's it from me guys, keep smiling, keep reading and be happy. My name is Casey and I'll see all of you wonderful awesome people in my next video. Bye!